What's going on guys, it's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Tuesday. Yes, I missed yesterday's video. I apologize for that if you were waiting on it. Uh, but I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest on the Batman today. We have some sick images of the Batmobile. Absolutely love these images. And we also have some comments from Paul Dano who's going to play the Riddler in the Matt Reeves Batman movie. Uh, he had some things to say about the scripts, which is interesting. And uh, we'll read the comments at the end, or a few comments at least, however many we have time to get to. So let's get into it. So out of all the craziness that's going on in the world, the pandemic, you know, the protests that are happening all around the world, we have some good news. Uh, the Batman has the go ahead to uh, begin filming again. So in the UK, I should say. So I'm looking at um, an article from The Guardian here. So the Batman among movies, given go ahead to restart filming in the UK. Uh, one of the other movies of, is of course another WB property by the name of Fantastic Beasts. So I'm excited for both of these things and it's it's great that they can go ahead and start filming again, especially because if, if it was delayed any longer, you know, this movie might not hit its October 1st date. It already got pushed back. So um, it's great to see that uh, this movie can start filming again. Of course, they're going to have to be uh, doing some uh, really really strict safety precautions um social distance adhering to social distancing guidelines where they can um but we're gonna get this film starting to start startup production again which is a good thing now uh some some new images of the batmobile did drop and i want to i want to give you guys a look at this so this is pretty awesome so uh the batman's uh here's actually this is a concept uh, model from Jeff Frost um, of the Batmobile. Let's check these out right here. So Jeff Frost, I believe, is someone who has worked on other um, other big properties in the past. Now, I'm forgetting on the top of my head uh, wh what else he's worked on, but he's definitely worked on some, um, some big movies in the past. But check these out. Check these out. This is pretty sweet. So we've only gotten images from... Uh, the released images from Matt Reeves of the Batmobile. It's kind of obviously a darker uh, situation, Batman standing next to the Batmobile. But here we have a concept art of Batman in the Batmobile, and it looks absolutely amazing. This is so sick. Now, this might be my favorite Batmobile to date. Uh, I know a lot of people love the 1989 Batmobile, and I'm talking live action, of course. Um, the Dark Knight did something super different with uh, with his tank of a Batmobile. Zack Snyder made his a little bit more functional. And, um, this just looks like something that would be out there in the real world. And I gotta say, especially from this view at the top, this is, I mean, this is absolutely a gorgeous vehicle. And it looks like the, the front is made to be something that is going to cause damage. Um, you know, obviously this thing looks like it's built for speed and I'm sure we're gonna get an awesome chase sequence uh, in this. I hope we get a lot of this. This is sick. Look at the attention to detail uh, from the back. And we've already seen this, but we get a, a little bit of a closer look. Um, this thing's obviously built for speed with the engine in the back. The, uh, the front, again, looks like it could, it could be used as kind of like a battering ram. Look at the bumper right here. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see if there's going to be like extra gadgets that shoot projectiles out of here um, because this is, I think, something uh, that has been talked about online. This is probably, this is something that he has been, has built. I believe Jeffrey Wright talked about that. He, this is something that Batman himself has built. So something he's built without the help of um, um, other members of the Bat family or um, other uh, allies that he has like Lucius Fox. So um, I'm, I'm loving this. If this is the first iteration of the Batmobile that, that we're going to get and possibly evolve throughout the movies, I think this is an awesome start. Let me know what you guys think of, uh, of this concept model. It looks pretty true to what we got from the Matt Reeves pictures. I'm wondering if there were any changes from this uh, concept uh, models, but sick. I absolutely love this. Um, come on, guys. I know some of you guys weren't fans of this when it first came out, but man, looking at it from all the different angles, uh, I'm wondering if it changed any of your guys' opinions. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, we also got some other news. Uh, so now I'm looking at Collider's article. It says, the Batman's Paul Dano's praises Matt Reeves' script, calls it really powerful. So Paul Dano, uh, I gotta admit, the only other movie I've seen him in is Prisoners, the Denis Villeneuve movie, which is 
an absolute masterpiece with Hugh Jackman in it. Um, I forget who else it was was in it, but he starred Hugh Jackman, Terrence Howard I think was in it, and Paul Dano. And I won't reveal if you guys wanted to watch it still. I won't reveal uh, the actual spoil. Like there's a big spoiler in the movie, but I won't reveal what his role is in it. But he does play a really great disturbed character in that movie, and um, he had some things to say. He's obviously going to be playing playing the Riddler, uh, and here's what he had to say. I was filming, I flew home to visit my baby and then didn't get to fly back to set because of coronavirus, which is a really strange thing, which is a really strange thing, but I feel really good about it. I think Matt Reeves is the real deal. I was really surprised by his script, which is, which I think is, is potentially really powerful. Hopefully we'll get to get back to it sometime soon. I'm not sure. So again, this is what, the third or fourth actor who's really praised Matt Reeves' script. Obviously, Colin Farrell has talked about that this script being something really special. Jeffrey Wright has said that Matt Reeves has done some amazing work on this script. And, you know, Paul Dano saying this um, just kind of reinforces uh, those comments in the past that we've already heard. I'm really curious to see what kind of Joker we're going to get out of this movie. Uh, the funny thing is, is in the beginning, um, when when uh, the Riddler was floated around as a potential villain for this movie, a lot of rumors were saying that Jonah Hill was going to get this role. Um, so I'm really kind of curious to, to what kind of Riddler we're going to get in this movie. But, um, you know, it, it all kind of points to, I know this is supposedly a long Halloween inspired story, but there's definitely going to be uh, mixed into this long Halloween story, other storylines. Obviously, Matt Reeves is going to do his own spin on things, but it really feels like they're pulling from Batman Zero Year, in which kind of the Riddler is like the big bad of that storyline, and we see an early version of Bruce Wayne um, just trying to find his bearings as Batman, and um, and his relationship with Alfred is a huge part of that story, and we know that. Um, from Jeffrey Wright's comments, his relationship with Alfred is going to be um, uh, almost at the heart of this story. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Andy Serkis's comments. So Andy Serkis also praised Matt Reeves' script. Andy Serkis is going to be playing Alfred. So you know, it feels like they're gonna they're gonna be pulling from this zero year storyline. Um, but you know, f who knows what we're gonna get? It feels like it's gonna be an amalgamation between Long Halloween, Zero Year, um, maybe some other storylines as well. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, how this movie is going to play out. We know that there's going to be a lot of uh, other villains in here, though we may not get too many of them. Um, Colin Farrell has definitely made comments that he's only in it for a short while, but does have juicy scenes uh, that are going to be in there. So it's going to be, this movie seems to be planting the seeds for a, for, the, for a trilogy to be fleshed out. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Paul Dano, from what I've seen from him in Prisoners, is an amazing actor and I think uh, could really do an awesome job uh, as the Riddler. Um, way better than Jim Carrey, at least. Um, so let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. That's your update for the Batman. Cannot wait to get more from this. All right, just to end this video, just to read some comments and address some of the people in the comment section here. Um, uh, so Rubber Duck Production says, I would prefer is i meant he meant if pedro pascal played batman um i like pedro pascal i loved him as the viper in game of thrones um i think for what he did in the mandalorian i think he's awesome i do i can't see him as the batman really i could see him uh i mean obviously he's going to be playing uh, maxwell lord in the wonder woman movie haven't seen him in that yet so it's hard to judge but uh yeah, i can't see him playing batman um you know, uh, there's a lot of other people that were up for the role as Batman, um, and I couldn't honestly see any of them except for Army Hammer maybe playing Batman. Um, but since we have one, there's no point in doing a top five uh, casting for Batman unless Ben Affleck comes back. Um, I think Robert Pattinson is going to do a great job. Uh, Miss Wonder says, hey guys, I have a question. So according to a video Jody's Corner just posted, an article came out that WB CEO stated in an interview that Zack Snyder Cut does not exist, and that is what Zack needs to create for the next year. Your thoughts, and do you think this is true? First of all, uh, I cannot stand Jody's Corner, uh, his opinions, the what he's doing with the movement, uh, or with his own movement. He's trying to start a uh, uh, his uh, reject the Snyder cult uh, he's re reject the Snyder Colts, you know, f merchandise, and and he's trying to 
rally people around that. Um, really taken away from the victory that a lot of fans had. You know, he just can't stand to be wrong, in my opinion. Um, you know, he he had he had some hot takes and some contradicting contradicting takes on Batman v Superman and Justice League. Uh, but whatever the case is, he doesn't want to take the L. He was wrong about the Snyder Cut. It's coming out, and now he's just crying about it on his YouTube channel. I know he's way bigger than this uh, than this channel, but um, and he has a bigger voice. But I don't I don't like his channel or his take. Basically, he posted an article about, I guess, CW, uh, the CEO saying Zack Snyder cut does not exist. We heard it from Zack Snyder's mouth. The cut exists. It's done. He had a cut there for. He, he had a cut there. Now, if you want to argue semantics, um, you know, if people want to argue semantics about whether or not it was really done and ready to be released, and you know, Zack Snyder talked about how there was footage that need to be, um, you know, the digital effects need to be added in or polished up, you know. You know that's that's just an argument of semantics. Zack Snyder said it in in his uh, in his own words. It's done. Um, now he was able to bargain. It looks like he was able to bargain for a better deal and and, and give more to the fans. Um, and it's mutually beneficial for AT and T to do so. Maybe perhaps break this down uh, into a mini series. Perhaps add more footage in. Um, clean up the effects. So um, as far as the Snyder cut not existing. Um, I don't think that to be true because Zack Snyder had a cut there. Um, the Snyder cut itself is is bigger, uh, it has become bigger than just, um, it, it has become a movement, right? The Snyder cut, um, we were fighting, what we were really fighting for was Zack's vision to be put out there and it has been. So as fans, we've won, we got, we're getting the version of Justice League that we wanted. The Snyder Cut, right? So um, whether or not the CEO, I don't know if he knows the ins and outs of this whole thing. The CEO, I don't know if he's been following this for two years like all of us fans have, but um, he can say what he wants and Jody's Corner can post out what he wants. But um, in reality, uh, uh, my, th that's my thoughts on it. You know, we're getting the cut the fans won. Um, the Snyder Cut is Zack Snyder's vision. That's what we wanted and it's, it's coming out. So. I'm super excited. Thanks, Miss Wonder, for, for commenting. And that's a great question, actually. Um, Sean Jahal says, Superman in some one, uh, underwater Aquaman scenes would be cool. James Wang could work it. Shazam 2 is an easy fix. Black Adam, The Rock has teased already. And hey, Suicide, in Suicide Squad, he could play Bizarro, not just Superman. Too much source material to draw from. A solo Superman film is still possible and long overdue. Justice League 2 is possible too. So he's talking about Henry Cavill coming back as Superman and where he could appear in. Uh, wow. Superman, uh, a Bizarro showing up in Suicide Squad, that would be pretty awesome. I don't think that's going to happen, but uh, yeah. Um, I think no one commented in on him potentially showing up in Aquaman, and we have seen in comic books especially um, Superman showing up in Aquaman's comics and even doing some underwater stuff. That would be really fascinating to see how they'd put Superman underwater. That would be interesting for sure. Um, but I do think he's probably going to be showing up in Shazam 2, Black Adam, and possibly get his own movie. We'll see. Uh, Film Gob says, 2020 is wild, and yes, you are right, man, and I'm going to like that comment, part that comment. Um, yeah, man, I've, I've been loving the videos Film gob has been putting out lately. It just it, it just feels like celebrating <laughs> whenever I watch the videos because because uh, especially we've been fighting for the Snyder Cut for so long and Film Gob's videos kind of puts compilations. I love the compilations you're putting together on uh, on all the Snyder Cut deniers and stuff like that. So shout out to Film Gob. 2020 is definitely wild and, and uh, the ride ain't over yet in uh, in Cyborg's words, right? So uh, that's all it looks like we have time for today. There's some great comments in here that we definitely have to uh, get to at some point, uh, maybe in a reading the comments video soon. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.